Welcome to another InfoScale training video. Today we're going to go through rebrand settings. We're going to answer a couple of questions. The first being, why do we have rebrand settings? Followed up by, where are the settings and how do they work? And then we're going to go through some of the advanced messaging settings that we do have. So with that, let me pull up our dashboard. So once logged in, you go to the dashboard and you go over to the settings menu. And then you have an option here for rebrand settings and for client messaging. So first, the purpose of the rebrand settings is that when customers see backup activity or they experience an issue, they know who they should go to for help. So we've automated ways to do that. Uh, some ways are by visual, so you can put your business's logos in the, in the backup. Uh, for internal use, this is also helpful to enforce usage of a certain program. So you can change the product name, we can update the logo, and the specifics of the dimensions are in the little help icons. You can update the desktop icon. You can update the banner inside the backup agent, and that's all done here. And then for email reports that are sent to customers, you can put in a email address that will mask the default email address from our system. Uh, the default is reports at managedoffsitebackup.net. And then the product site URL is also something that can be helpful if there's a link for more information. It'll go to this URL, which oftentimes will be your website. We have some additional optional settings. Um, most of these don't come into play unless you are using some of our older web integration package products. Then we go over to the dashboard. So the dashboard, we have some options where, as a distributor, I can hide the InfraScale newsfeed. Uh, from my partners or I can allow my partners to further customize the dashboard which means that they could brand it for their for view by their customers for the same benefit. If I select enable dashboard rebranding that means that I can select the header background color and the image used in the dashboard and again, the dimensions are here. So if you enable this when your partners or customers log into the dashboard this banner here will be what you upload to our system uh, and of course the background color is the same. So this way you can give a much more uh, branded approach and experience to your customers so that again if they run into an issue and they need some help or need a question answered they know who to go to. We do have a more advanced option in the client messaging section. So client messaging is helpful as a sell-through tool so if you wanted all your endpoints to have an additional program installed, say antivirus, then we could put in some registry key here. And when the backup runs, let's just say you know, AVG or whatever it is, antivirus, our software, when it runs and the customer logs in, it'll search for this registry key. If it doesn't appear, then you can update an image that they'll see in that case. And that image is actually a, a large button and we'll click and we'll click through to whatever URL you set here. If it does exist, then you can show a different image. So a lot of our customers use this as an extended point of branding or as an extended point of need help and just generically always link back to a support site. Uh, but if you did want you know some of your distributed workforce to make sure that they're using an antivirus program, then you could use the registry key here to, to search for that specific antivirus registry item. And that's the summary of what we have with the rebranded settings from the dashboard. Thanks and have a good one.